if we're looking at this, we've got um, increasing, uh, sorry, I can't see it from right, increasing revenue budget growth, increasing operating efficiency, and reducing operating expenditure. And I was, I was looking at those and thinking, is, is that what you see when you go and talk to customers? Sure, I think the top line is, is obvious. Everybody wants to do that kind of thing. But actually, the second line is the one that was really interesting to me. I think many people have this perception that the way to sell is by providing a cost saving. Is If I'm going to sell you something, I'm going to save you £200 a month or a million pounds a year. Actually, that's not always true. And actually, what this graph shows to me is that it's not true. It's not what people are thinking about. People want efficiency savings from the work that they do. They don't want necessarily to have their people spending 10 tasks in a row. They want to make them more efficient. So the, the work that we do with many of the people in this room and outside of this room is actually the deals that we're working on is all about making the process efficient. It's not necessarily about saving money. And so when I saw this graph, I, I was fascinated by it because I've been trying to make the point for years. And now I've finally got a graph to prove the point I've been trying to make. It's deals, deals are won by you selling an efficiency, by you cleaning up a process. <coughs> by you talking to your customers about their most important documents. Because their most important documents drive those two or three things on there. And if you're talking to your customers about their most important documents, what you'll end up talking to them about is the efficiency of that document. And if you talk to them about the efficiency of that document, you can have a conversation about how you can fix it. And that, to me, is, is where you start to get the killer sales. It's not around the cost saving per se. And it's interesting that on that list, down almost at the bottom is transforming business capabilities and there's so much conversation about digital transformation right now, isn't there? I mean, it's, it's, it's in the news practically every other week that we see in the press, but why do you think that's so low? I think people have a big IT estate, right? People may have spent millions of pounds on an SAP or an Oracle system in terms of an ERP or they may have spent hundreds of thousands of pounds on a document management system. And so they've already got the tools in place in some respects. Um, what they don't want to do is increase those tools. What they, I think they want to do is make them more efficient, make the people who are using them more efficient. And, and part of the process is to understand how to make them more efficient. So actually, there's a ton of tools out there. And sometimes people have two or three tools to do the same job. Yeah. So our role, I think, is to understand what those tools are, what those efficiencies are, and help them to streamline it. And I think that's why that's so low in the graph, is because people have a lot of stuff. It's how they use it and how they use it efficiently is, is where, where the real conversation is.